This fall, fewer bird hunters will be a field in Montana as more hunters age and fewer take up the sport. This national hunter decline has many organizations turning to R3, recruitment, retention, and reactivation to try and combat this trend of declining hunters. Pheasant and upland game bird hunting, we saw the license sales going down. And so giving people more opportunity to harvest, a, in this case, a pheasant, they're more likely to, to stick with that activity in future years. As the number of bird hunters decline in Montana, Fish, Wildlife and Parks adhering to the state legislature implemented a pheasant release program some are calling roosters for recruitment. And the impetus, of course, was um, House Bill 637. But when we started looking at it, yeah, I mean, we really needed to start recruiting people into this, this type of hunting, this type of recreation. And for our youth and for our aging hunters, this is just a, it's just a huge opportunity. Learning to hunt can be challenging compared to other outdoor activities, but by providing more opportunities, FWP can help a new hunter overcome those obstacles. You don't need a whole lot of equipment. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money. It's not as physically intense as elk hunting. So it's a really, really easy way to get into hunting for your first time. FWP plans to continue releasing birds prior to the general pheasant season opener providing more opportunity to recruit, retain, and reactivate more Montana hunters. It's the gateway hunting to maybe other hunting. We're retaining some aging hunters that might not big game hunt, but we want to recruit youth hunters that they, you know, this might be the hook for them. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.